hello and welcome guys hope you are doing great so i am again here with a new video tutorial that is around moodle so in moodle today we will learn how you can use login with google feature in your lms okay so it includes some steps that is also also the some gmail side settings and also inside your lms setting okay so let's get started step by step here so now as you can see here uh, this one is my lms that is lms.avlx.co.in you don't see here any button that is saying login with google here but at the end of the video you will be able to see here the login button here after the login google button that will help you to login with google here here the first step is how to create a project in your console google console cloud okay so creating a project inside the google console cloud first you will have to login in your gmail account then you will have to open this console.cloud.google link okay so if you open this you will see something like this then you will have to create a project okay how you can create a project from here you can create a project you can see here the list of already created project but here from here you can create so the new project my project let's see lms project 2 and you can click here create okay it will take some time but in my case i have already created i am just showing uh, this one for you so after creating a project you will have to select your own project okay if you create a project then you will have to select your own project either you can if you just create it then you will find here if you click this one will be selected okay you can see here but if you have created earlier your project then from here you can uh, switch between project okay so you are done with creating a project then after selecting your project you will have to create click on apis and services so here i am clicking on it then you don't have any api available yet to get started enable api services and go. okay so after clicking on this you will have to click on credential from the left side here so click on it so before moving ahead it will be asking you to configure consent screen okay so before moving ahead you will have to uh, allow consent okay so let me click on it uh, here it will take time and i will be picking here external okay so all these steps i have mentioned here in this doc and you will find this doc also and you can get this doc url inside the video description of this okay so click on create now you can put here the name app name let's see model app name to support email you can put your email here logo if you have you can put add app domain if you want you can add here if you don't want you just put your uh, site domain name okay as you can also see here how it can be uh, put it here you can put your site name so in my case this one evlx.co.in so i am going to add here domain again this one will go here okay now you will have to add developer email again i am going to put my email id here now on this page you are 
done with all the steps click on save and continue okay click save and continue save and continue just go back to s mode again come back to this for your project go to home then your project pi and this credential you are done with now i am going to create consent sorry you consent we are done with now i am going to create credentials so to create a credential you'll have to create click here as you can also see here the steps okay so after clicking on that screen you will have to use this auth auth client id then you will have to pick here web application okay so client let name let it be whatever is coming but in case if you want to change you can change this uh, add authorize javascript origin okay you can let it be whatever is coming default that means you don't have to worry here to add this one you have to add here authorize redirect url and what will be the url your url will be the main site url slash this one admin slash oauth to call back okay then you will have to click on create so after this step you will be getting the client id and the client secret okay so you can download this one i am going to uh, save here so that i just whenever i will be required i will be just copying pasting from here okay so now you can do this click on okay so as i already told you it includes some steps and some work at google end so it you are done with the google part stops here so step one is completed now step two create or client id that is also done here you just created client uh, credential if you want you can create the multiple client credential here suppose i am creating this one for a one site and in case you are a developer or a company you have a company then you might be a uh, running with multiple uh, lmss then in this case you can also create a, a different credential here okay so this step you you just saw this now uh, you can also see how you can configure the consent screen but for a one app application you have to make this process only once if you will be creating a new app project here then only it will be required otherwise you can continue with uh, current existing consent then now you will have to come to the setting for the lmss so all these steps now you get got this client id and the secret configure in modal side so i am going to log in with my admin credential so this is a part of authentication so under general setting you can see no not under general you will have to go to plugin then you will see authentication okay so under plugin you will find authentication then man click on manage authentication then here you will see oauth2 so usually you will find this as a disable if you have not uh, enabled from yourself but if it is disable you will have to enable this so i am just enable again after disabling i just enable so this is one is a part of your setting okay now the next step you also have to add google as a service how you can go to that you'll have to go to 
server on your model go to server then OAuth to services okay so if I open my URL incognito you can see here I don't see that uh, option of that login with Gmail is appearing okay but in few minutes you will you can see here so OAuth to services click on it now under oath you see the google microsoft facebook next cloud open badge linkedin lots of option you can see here but for in this video we are all only talking to this talking about this google so click on this name you can leave it as a google client id it is asking so his client id i just created so that one be i will be using then the client secret it is asking And you will have to check this option authenticate token request via HTTP server. Sorry, HTTP headers. And you don't have to change here anything. Let it be whatever is coming here. Login page and external, it is also fine. Okay. Now you are done with all the settings name on the login page what you want to display name here okay so i want to display this login with google login with google got it now click on save yes come here and refresh the page yes you can see in under incognito mode login using account on login with google if i rename this name here okay you can also make it a uh, name as per your choice land login via someone if you want to write login with yeah if you want just google then it will also be showing just google only you can change any time this one let me make it google and i come to incognito mode and refresh and i see here the changed one okay so google itself is not looking good so i am going to make it login with google that's it so click on save changes again it will be login with google so now you are done with all the setting parts and you have to test okay so how you can test you have to come to your login page click on login with google and now i will be trying with my google email id gmail id let's see yeah an existing account was found with this email address but it is not linked the account must be linked before you can login yes in my case uh, i have uh, one user with this email id already present in this lms so that is why it is showing otherwise it will take you to login page it contains uh, easy instruction an email should have been sent to your address at this it contains easy instruction to link your account if you have any difficulty contact the side administrator but still i have created this user manually but still this is sending me an email okay so let's see my gmail if i have got any mail yes take again link logging linked login confirmation you can see here the zero minute ago a request has been made to link google login to your account to confirm this request and link this login please go to this website okay so i am going to click on this yes your registration has been confirmed now log out what it now let me try again how it works because i have confirmed my linking yes so now you can see here i am logging with my gmail and i have not uploaded this profile picture it is directly coming from a gmail whatever is my gmail picture it is coming 
got it so this is how you can if i come here under edit mode it just added my uh, profile picture here so this is how you can add login with gmail at your in your lms okay so in case of any doubt you can ask me uh, in a comment area and i will try answering all your query so if uh, my video is helping you uh, i request you to please like comment share and also if you have not subscribed my channel yet i would suggest please subscribe thank you thank you for watching and have a great day